Let's take a voyage back in time to a place where humans created spectacular structures, searching for mysteries of the past that questions our own ability to construct precise stone structures. There is a place outside of Allente Tambo in Peru called Naupohuaca, a place that was recently discovered over the past few decades. We'll need to follow the railroad tracks until we get to a path leading up to a small mountainside cave. A place that is regrettably in ruins from the Spanish conquistadors hundreds of years ago. We need to walk a long and steep staircase up a small mountainside to get to the Naupohuaca cave. A cave with a mysterious stone structure and a false door that goes nowhere. While climbing these ancient stairs made by the Incans, I felt the voyage of time, the repetition of humans walking in the same footsteps and treading along the same paths as their ancestors. I wanted to know why such an odd place was constructed here thousands of years ago. When you arrive at the top of the entrance of the cave, you'll find this stone structure made from andesite rock. I came before a distant past where precision was used while creating structures from hard igneous rock. This is what's left from the stone structure. Regrettably, the top portion was blown off by the conquistadors, laying in ruin under the ground below and behind the structure. What could have been here? From the local guide that took me to this place, he showed me that this structure held more significance than just being a ceremonial altar. The top portion held an Incan Jakana cross where the sun and stars align inside the center. During every equinox at this location, this Jakana displayed an astrological alignment to the Southern Crux constellation to show when the seasons would occur. But why and how could the Incans use their bronze tools to build such a strange and sophisticated stone structure from andesite, all for just an alignment? Unless it was an easy task, it must have had more significance or another purpose. The structure you're looking at is called the Princess Fountain in the Allente Tambo archeological site. As you can see, the design of the fountain has precise design cuts on the stone along with a person showing the capillary action of water displacement. It's amazing how after so much destruction and multiple possible cataclysms, the ancient's laminar water flow is still flowing today. How can there be such technological construction with these andesite rocks? Andesite has a hardness of seven on the Mohs scale, which is incredibly intriguing due to the fact that any human being in that area during that time used copper tools. How could primitive tools create such a complex work of art, but then be destroyed and ruined by fear? What's even more peculiar to this ancient place is the back of the cave that was blocked off by the Incans and rubble. They left one false door, but could there be another false door behind this seal? And why create a false door that from possibly our perspective leads to nowhere? Whoever created this place met with the fate of their epoch ending, to the detriment of the civilization's true function of this place.